Hello there, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. October promises you this year, 2023, some significant developments through hard work and achievement in your career space, as well as just perhaps some interesting money opportunities, especially regarding loans and banks and even property and land. Looking forward to telling you more about how that plays out in the month of October. But before we begin, if you are new to my channel, please hit that like button and welcome. Uh, try subscribing. I am Lori Lothian. I use the whole sign host system. System. I'm using Western Tropical Zodiac Astrology, not Sidereal. So this is a, and you know, I'm doing a webinar, I almost forget to tell you. So I'm not talking about the eclipses October 14th and 28th in this video because there are too much details that I can't possibly cram into a shorter video. So come to my webinar or check out my channel when I put public content out this month, but check my webinar, free webinar coming up October the 10th, I believe that's when I scheduled it, and it's going to cover in depth how to really harness this Libra um, 14th of October eclipse and understand how to use it in your chart based on your sun, moon, and rising sign delineations, especially your rising. So let's get, it's free and you get a replay. It's in the description box under the video. Now let's get moving. Number one, I'm an Aquarius like you, been through the ringer with that Saturn transit. Who is now in Pisces? Yes, but you know, that was three years. Now he's in Pisces this year. Um, but it's a time for us Aquarians, right? Where we're experiencing the getting readiness for Pluto coming into the house of us next January and being there for more or less 20 years. And we're really getting ready as Aquarius people to power up. We do, we are the lead goose for humanity. I just want to say it. We had that Sun Saturn conjunction back in 2020, December initiating all Aquarians for two years to be sort of the thing in society, whether it's your sun, your moon, or your rising. And so as we go into this month of October, we're going to experience some very interesting changes of the story. And a lot of us will, we know it or not, are getting ready to make a change of purpose and career in our lives. And we're going to get the first gist of it in this month of October. And I'm going to talk about why. At the very same time, we're going to get some superior luck around the ability to mobilize chunky money during the month of October and have that benefit us in our home and from our home. So let's break it all down in detail. Number one, three planets are changing signs. So we have a feeling of the air, like a new fragrance in the air, a shift of the, the zeitgeist. We don't feel the same as we did in September with three sign changes and three planets moving into new territory. One of the things that's most important for us is that we're going to have the movement on October the 12th of Mars out of Libra, our ninth house of God, foreign lands, academia, publishing, meaning of life, spirituality, foreign lands and shores. And he'll be there the first 12 days and he's gonna be with the South Node and we may feel a sense of loss, I need to let go of the world of publications or book publishing, or I need to surrender a little bit here around things to do with our travel plans abroad there's a kind of let go let god going on in the first 10 days of october 10 11 12 days but then mars moves into scorpio and when he's in scorpio he's in his home kingdom and he's so powerful here this is the feminine sign of mars it does not belong to pluto in the ancient tradition and as mars is moving through here he's getting ready in november to meet the sun and that heart of the sun is a death and rebirth for mars and that's why a lot of us Aquarians are going to get into a new career path, a new profession, a new ambition, a new area of success over the two years that follow this November. And I'll be doing a whole deep dive video into the details of that on my channel. But we feel the first wave of that because on October 12th, Mars enters into Scorpio. Well, he'll be till all the way through to November 24th. And so it's a long time that he's here, six weeks, and he's going to help us make changes in our reputation and career space. That's what he's going to do. Cut, sever, end, clean it up, you know, prune the rose bush, you know, pull the weeds out of the garden, uh, slice and dice, cut the gangrene and the wastage in our career space off. Now, technically, if you're in an employment situation, this can be a lot of difficulty with the fight, fighting with the boss, having difficult conversations or disagreements in the workspace, having um, somebody get fired or you get fired or you fire someone in the workspace because Mars can do all of those 10 
things in the 10th house, but you also may be passionate, driven and purposeful and willing to work hard with a great deal of vim and vigor and really apply your passion intensity as well during October 12th to no, uh, the 24th of, uh, of November in the workspace. Okay, a queer space, reputation space. And you have a nice financial glow up coming this month, but we're going to tell you about that when we break down the details of the chronology of the month as well. The other thing we want to note here is that Venus spent four months in the sign of Leo and she's leaving the sign of Leo after June, July, August, September, and she's leaving on October the 8th and will stay in the sign one over Virgo until November the 8th. In your sky as, a, as an Aquarius rising, this Virgo story is your eighth house of chunky money. You know, that's going to the bank and getting a loan, paying down a credit card, um, getting a refinance, uh, sharing money with your spouse or business partner in a short, in a pool of resources, an alimony spousal support kind of house too. Um, it can be inheritances for sure. And chunky money can also look like royalty income commission payments, sever severance package money. It's just here comes a chunk of money. It's not a regular paycheck. It's not earned income that way. And uh, you went like JK Rowling has a stellium in her eighth house. Not only is that the house of magic and she wrote all the po Harry Potter books, but she's a trillionaire. So yes, people with a lot of plants in the eighth house deal with wealth, Warren Buffett, all those types of folks. So she's in a house of that kind of wealth. She's not in her greatest dignity, dignity. She is in her fall. Be a little bit careful therefore us Aquarians about investment opportunities that could be uh, a cause of a difficult financial outcome if we're not careful. So don't go willy nilly investing in the stock market quite yet. Maybe wait till she's out of there on November the 8th. Um, yeah, having her go through here is about sexuality as well. I mean, the eighth house is more of the deep tantra, the sometimes the kink, but it's kind of that one of the bed houses like houses five and 12 and bed pleasures houses, etc. So you may find your sexuality deepening or some in, in you know some new energies around your sexual life and that's going to be really uh, quite a possible transit story as well for you on october the 8th through to november the 8th and anything else i want to say about that nope and then lastly uh, mercury goes through three signs this month which is pretty pretty crazy he's finishing up two months in virgo uh, he started being virgo the third week of august and is completing on the 5th of october and that we haven't seen him in four months in Virgo, which for you is that eighth house of chunky money. We haven't seen him there all the way since 2016, August through October. Now I was doing a lot of accounting finances and division of assets with a husband I was separating from just to us working out the deals of who gets what. And this is a similar vibe that we're all, we were going through, right? And for me, as an Aquarius rising, I just decided to probably incorporate, check in with an account and change my financial business structures. Some of you guys may have done things like that, try to negotiate new um, deals for your financing of your home or your rate with your credit card company, or you had chunky money things happening. Now, at the end of that, which is the 5th of October, when Mercury leaves there, I'm going to tell you, he's doing something really sweet for you on the way out. I think I'm going to go out of, I'm just going to tell you about it now. So as he's finishing up his Virgo stay on October 1st to the 3rd, he comes into a trine to the wealth God Pluto in the, in the 12th house. That can be a real upgrade financially of chunky money through something to do with the word foreigner, foreign lands and foreign shores or revenue generated that way, because maybe you have international clients or an international business type of uh, work environment. So you can definitely look at that as also potential potentially news of inheritance and that could be coming through your sky October 1st to the 3rd so just be aware it's very positive energy moving into the um, thing that he does next as he leaves that part of your sky the Virgo territory and he goes into the sign of Libra or Libra Libra well he'll be for three weeks October the 5th until Where's my calendar? October 21st, okay? And when he's in your ninth house, the feeling here can be about visas, passports, communications, uh, academic papers, study, research, learning, um, spiritual uh, insight and communication, things to do with um, legal matters and briefs and papers and decisions and negotiations and mediations, okay? Those are kind of Mercury ninth house matters. So for some of you are going to find there's a preoccupation with those matters, basically, on the 5th of October through to the 21st of October. 
and it may just invite you to travel to a foreign country because Mercury is a patron protector of travelers and he's moving through that part of your sky those three weeks and you may get on a plane and travel to a foreign place. I will be traveling to a foreign place during that time. Um, and things should go well. He has some minor dignity in Libra, so he, you're well protected as you travel. Anything else to say? No. So let's go through the chronology of the month piece by piece. Number one, we start off, as I mentioned, with that sweet spot of Mercury trining Pluto, but at the same time, October 1st to the 3rd, Mercury is also opposite Neptune in your house of your earnings, and you might have to deal with some kind of confusion or hopefully not manipulation or deception, hopefully nothing big, around your earnings story, oops, and your savings and earnings and savings story and your financing and banking story. Certainly, I would say to also be careful October 1st to 3rd, do not you know, this could be a swindle. This could be one of those, uh, you know, calls from India that they are the IRS or the revenue services are after you. Don't get tricked, you know, be careful during that time. Mercury's in dignity. You probably will figure it out, but just be, be awfully careful around financial, too good to be true kind of opportunities, October 1st to the 3rd. And then October the 8th to the 10th is a really difficult week for everybody. We have two hard things happening. We have a, a, a Mars, op, a, squaring Pluto and a Venus opposite Saturn. Now, Mars in Libra, okay, squaring Pluto in Capricorn is complicated energy for sure, because we also have the presence of the South Node. And I actually mentioned how, you know, around the, you know, first 12 days of the month of October, you may have to like really feel that like knife of cutting away, letting go. I think I mentioned if I didn't, because Mars in the first 12 days in Libra is with that south node. What do you need to let go, surrender, release, and cut away from that ninth house of all the meanings I gave you already? And this time frame here, uh, Mars squaring Pluto and Capricorn on the 8th to the 10th, is just bringing it to a head. And there's like a definitive, like kind of cutting decision-making, um, action-taking power around airplanes and travel and foreign lands and legal visas and court cases and publications and books and uh, academic environments and Pluto, you know, like really intense also in the house of foreign shores energy. So it looks a little turbulent here on that window of time regarding those themes. And, you know, I would say it's not a great time to book a ticket or take a trip if you can avoid being, you know, doing that October 8th to the 10th, because it has a lot of intensity here. And then finally, uh, at the same time, or as well, you have that Venus opposite Saturn. Venus wants to play, have fun, and have pleasure. She's in your eighth house of money. This could be you wanting to have pay for something expensive, or uh, you know, be be faced with an expensive bill even that you didn't expect. I mean, it's a money goddess in a money house in her fall. Um, hopefully not a tax bill. It's a little early for that, but you're facing maybe an unexpected expense. Maybe somebody wants you to pay a bunch of money that you didn't think you needed to pay. I don't know. And it's opposite Saturn, October 8th to the 10th, who's trying to stabilize our finances as Aquarius Risings over the next three years. And he's trying to bring us long lasting financial structures that save our ass and give us better gains over the long haul of our life. But he's there like kind of like crossing his arms, looking over at Venus, he's in Pisces with Neptune, trying to make things, uh, dreams real in our money story. And Venus has got something going on over there that may be somewhat challenging. Now, because Mercury is the Lord of where Venus is, and he's in the house of foreign lands, book publishing, and courts and legal matters and visas, you could be bumping into those matters as it, as it applies to your finances. It's a short lived energy, but it is pretty intense, October 8th through the 10th. October 12th to the 14th, I love this sky. We have Mars trining Saturn. And this is something we haven't seen in this way since 1995. And before that, 1965, Mars is trining Saturn because Mars is moving in, you know, his little, you know, high, you know, in his way, right? He's wandering through Scorpio. And that's his home kingdom. We talked about that earlier, how he's going to be there until the third week of November. So here we have Mars, October 12th to the 14th, and the very early zero degree mark kind of thing of the sign of Scorpio uh, and in a flow, luck and expansion energy towards Saturn and the zero degrees of Pisces. Now, Saturn's retrograde, right? And he won't even 
you know, get out of retrogradation until November the 4th, if I remember correctly. But he's really anchored in, into that zero degrees, which is a very lucky degree in some ways. And it's in your money house. So a kind of holy fool, to, you know, leap in the net will appear luck degree Saturn in the money and earnings house trying Mars in the workhouse. This can be something you've really been applying yourself to, some hard work energy you've been really digging into or begin to dig into that has very immediate satisfaction and rewards financially because you put the passion, the drive, the ambition, and the hard work into it. So it's kind of work money stories are very positive October 12th to the 14th. October the 19th, the, so I'll give me as an example, I, I always launch a pre-sale of my 2000 and each year's videos that I put out. And if you buy it on the pre-sale, I usually release them in November near uh, Thanksgiving, but I'll probably have my pre-sale sale sometime around that time. I might do really well with it. And people want to get the lower price by buying it before the, the videos are released. So think about your life in terms of things that you might do proactively as well to incite some very positive financial career developments uh, because you're working hard, because you're strategic, and you're getting things to work for you that way. Moving into October 19th to 21st with a highlight on the 20th of October, Mercury enters the heart of the sun at 26 degrees of Libra, co-joined with asteroid Persephone while also squaring Pluto and also being on the south node opposite the north. Note of fate, Libra, Aries, Axis, Pluto and Capricorn. This makes a T-square. Now, Mercury is resetting himself. He's dying in the heart of the sun to be born again. He does it six times a year. And so this is a reset button in your ninth house of foreign countries, in your ninth house of book publishing, in your ninth house of legal and court matters, right? A lot of ninth house stuff. In your ninth house of God, faith, religion, spirituality, Dharma, what you believe your life is about, third marriages can be here. There's a big reset button because for Persephone is involved, if you've ever felt a victim of the courts, a victim of the colleges, a victim of, you know, your visa stories, a victim of your foreign travel stories, you're going to rise from victimhood, Persephone, to queen of the underworld. You're going to put, get a handle on this. Thank you. Thank you, Kazemi. But there's tension with Pluto in the 12th house of foreign countries, in the 12th house of people who don't have your back, hidden enemies, in the 12th house of spiritual enlightenment. Some of you could have an enlightenment episode coming off this Kazemi in the two weeks that follow, and some of you could have some breakthrough with your visas, but it's an intense, intense energy. It really is. Moving into the next part of the sky, October 21st to the 24th, there is a very positive time. It's really good for everybody. There's a trine from Venus to Jupiter and a trine from the sun to Saturn. Let's break that down. Venus is moving through Virgo. Yes, a sign of her fall. She's not in great condition, but she's still Venus in your chunky money house. She's in a lucky trine to Jupiter. Yeah, the god of expansion and luck in your fourth house of property, home, land, real estate, money from your family of origin, mom and dad, and legacy wealth. If you are expecting an inheritance, um, you may get news that is coming through. If you're not expecting it, it may be showing up and you didn't know you were going to get money from some family member in your family of origin. I mean, it could be that. And, excuse me, I'm just adjusting my neck. And it could also be something like a very beautiful financial opportunity connected to a property. And maybe even a rental property with a vessel flame trundling through your sixth house at the same time. So a new hearth, a new home, a new delicious opportunity to buy or rent a house or, or to take money off the table or get a, a property sale offer or to refinance or to get a great mortgage. These are all lucky energies really playing out. Or your partner, by the way, and their family of origin monies may be coming through for you as well. And you're jointly sharing that financial gain together. And that's October 21 to 24. And then on October, the same time frame, October 21 to 24, the sun is moving through Scorpio, Scorpio season, trining Saturn in your second house of earnings. So that's just what we already felt when I talked about Mars trining Saturn, October 12th to the 14th. It's now back again with the sun formally saying, yay, that we're doing this thing again. Lots of career and money uplift connected to purpose, vitality, and you shining brightly at the top of the sky in your career workspace, reputation space, and it purposely and positively affects your income, earnings, and resources. That's October 21 to the 24th. Now to keep us moving forward in this exciting time ahead, we're going to go to the hard stuff. October 27th to the 30th, watch the hell out. I'm watching out. Mars conjoined with, with Mercury in Scorpio. Because don't forget, Mercury will move into Scorpio. I hope I told you that. After October 22nd, he's in Scorpio. It's all about negotiation, communication, contracts, agreements in your career space, and news and information in your career space. 
and selling very effectively after October the 22nd in your career space, if you're, if you need to sell, announce or, or all of that stuff for your work. And um, Mercury is with Mars, they're co-joined together on the 27th to the 30th, and they're opposite Jupiter, the god of abundance and prosperity in your fourth house of home. Now, this is a work home axis tension. It can indicate a potential move for work, just because if you have your mid heaven floating in the 10th house and your IC floating in the fourth house and whole sign houses, it can impact where you live. But it's like you're having this bounteous goodness in your home, you're enjoying your prosperity, you're feeling great teaching from home, learning from home, or just being a king of your home, right, queen of your home. And all of a sudden you get this like showdown, this quite explosive, explosive career news, explosive developments in the workspace, someone gets fired, someone gets hired, you get fired, you fire someone, and somehow it reverbs down to your home life where you live or to issues to do with wealth and money from family of origin, family of origin people, right? Parents, maybe grandparents. So keep that in mind because, you know, Mars and Mercury can be um, passionate communication in your career space, but is also being objected to, or there's different agendas by Jupiter in your fourth house. I mean, Jupiter, in the fourth house retrograde you're going back over some old ground to do with your home and where you live and your career excitement is at odds with what's going on quietly in your home in your home life october 27th to the 30th then finally uh we finished so strong with a venus trine i love this one venus is in a lucky flow a positive aspect to uranus just like we saw venus in a lucky flow to jupiter october 21 to 24 then she follows up at, on Halloween, a day or two before the 31st, she follows up by trining Uranus. Now, this is exciting, unexpected, exhilarating news information around chunky money, inheritances, uh, fee finances, um, loans, mortgages, positive, right? Positive energy, uh, money from a female suddenly coming to you that you can use for your home. Um, so it's money, home, property, real estate, excitement. Now, you know, because Venus is a goddess of sex, sensuality and sexuality, and you know, all of that could also be some extraordinarily exciting sexual event or direction your life will take October 31st. You know, that's one way to go with it, like way outside the bounds of your normal thing, a super kinky encounter. Like if you met somebody new and you were single under this transit on Halloween, your sex life will always be positive, but very unorthodox, you know, like, whoa, like we're going to try that. <laughs> yeah, we'll try that. So there's that as well. Uh, maybe it's going to be a Halloween to, to remember for some of you regarding your sex story as an Aquarius sun, moon and rising. I hope I don't get flagged for the SEX word. Oh, dear. Um, I had a video out by, about the RB story and I think I got shadow banned, so I took it down. Um, what else can I say here? That's about it. Now, if you're new to my channel and you haven't liked and subscribed yet, please give me a try. Don't forget, if you want to become a part of my Patreon community, it's only five bucks a month for the lowest tier and um, you can meet with me once twice or three times a month in private zoom readings i'm teaching you things really i'm usually teaching but um, we talk we have conversations together it's not just a lecture and um, I'm having a promotion uh, probably till the middle of October where you'll get my 2023 All Signs videos for each sign, one hour each. You'll get Are You My Person Sinistry course for relationship astrology and Chiron the Key to Purpose course that I taught. And you get the replays for free, plus you get the um, then you get the energy of the all signs video It's over almost a hundred dollars of value for free when you sign up for my patreon and then if you didn't want to leave you can go and keep the gifts but i think you'll like what i'm doing there with my community and i encourage you to give me a try and see if you like it thanks very much everyone all you aquariuses fellow aquarians have a wonderful wonderful time in the month of october and i realized i did like i usually have joy all over my place but not today um i've got really 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 bad weird lighting for jewelry to show Bye, everyone.